Hi everyone, it's Andrea with Dr. Drea's uh, Creations. And after much love and support that I've received from Facebook, I figured I'd give a little love back and fulfill some requests to show you how I made this geode platter. I'm gonna make one platter today. Here are some suggestions I got from Facebook, which I really loved. Let's not waste any time and let's get started. This particular technique where I'm adding the leafing, um, I didn't use on the very first geode. In fact, I waited till the geode was dry and then I modged podged the leafing on afterward. This time I'm gonna add it to the mold. This process is a lot easier. However, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out and I imagine I might have to do some touch-ups, but so far, this method is a lot easier than trying to do it piece by piece once it's dry. So I'll have to definitely keep you posted um, after it's completely dry. Here are the additives and the colors I'm gonna be using to, in, to the resin. And I'm going to be using four ounces of resin. And four ounces is technically too much. I am gonna have some left over. But it's two ounces of resin to two ounces of hardener equal parts one to one and I'm just gonna make sure I mix that very thoroughly it's very cloudy when you first mix it and as you know this it will start to clear, turn clear once it becomes completely mixed I'm just making sure to scrape the sides holding it a little bit with my warm hands to get the water I'm um, sorry to get the air bubbles out and now I'm adding my additives and my colors and you'll notice that diamond dust is a little bit thick and that's okay Lots of glitter. I do reserve some clear. I always keep a little thing of clear because it does add that 3D effect to every geode or whatever you're using actually. Now notice the different types of paint. You may have to actually use just a little bit and then add a little bit more just to kind of see what kind of transparency you have. More paint is going to give you more of an opaque look. Less paint is going to give you more of a transparent look. I am starting out with clear on the edge here, on the outer edge, but you do not have to start with clear. In fact, you can start with any color you choose. And I'm just picking colors at random. Um, I am intermixing a little clear here and there again to give it that 3D look. But this is where the fun comes in and your creativity comes into play. You get to choose whatever one you want. If you want to do purples or pinks or green um, and layer them however you'd like. That's, that's the fun part for me. Now I will start to fill in a little bit in the center there. And you'll see me turning because I'm not working on a level table. I will eventually move this over to its level drying shelf. But for now, I just kind of got to work with what I got. There it is on the drying shelf. I'm trying to get some look for you, some different light. Sorry about that. I'm going to zap it with the heat gun just to break up all of those air bubbles. Move around the color just a little bit. Now, I used the extra resin on some tiles, so I didn't waste anything. And here is uh, the final geode. You can kind of see some of that clouding already has taken effect. Thanks for watching, guys. Please sure, sure to hit that subscribe button below.